live in London now. You know, there's been so much talk this week here in the UK about whether or not the wedding between Prince William and Kate will be traditional or will it be more modern? Will it be fancy or will it be more simplistic? Or will it be a combination of the two? Guess who I have with me? The wedding guys, Matthew Treadle and Bruce Vassar, and they're going to know all the answers to that stuff. Good morning to you guys. Good morning. Good morning. So will it be traditional or modern? It's got to be both. And that's what's very interesting. You have all of the pageantry that's going to happen. But for a lot of reasons, it's very simplified. Um, even some of the decor elements, the flowers are more natural, which is very interesting. Um, doing the trees, which in the Abbey are going to be spectacular. Um, but really more of a garden feel, which you don't necessarily think of for a royal wedding. And yet it'll be, it will be traditional, Bruce, because she's very going to so. come in to trumpets. Right. The, the, you know, the thing about Westminster Abbey is it is basically the Queen's Church. So everything that goes on in the church is going to be very traditional. Just like the song that she will enter in on, I Was Glad, is also the song that the Queen came into the Abbey on her coronation day. So it's going to be very interesting how they, how they mold both of them. Now, a little rumor mill just told me that her dress may have diamond and pearl detail. You guys are the wedding guys. Does that sound accurate, Matthew? It sounds like a bride to me. <laughs> That would just be a general bride, that, not necessarily royalty. Right, but um, there will generally be detailing on the, the bridal gown for a royal wedding, and so that doesn't surprise us. We are expecting that it might be not the traditional princess ball gown that you would see, but maybe something that might be in a silk charmeuse, um, something that's a little bit more reminiscent of the 20s and 30s. And Very since, classic, like Grace Kelly. Right, Very and much. since there's been so much talk about whether she'll have a long train or she won't have a long train, if she doesn't, we, we predict that she'll have a very long veil. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. We'll see if your predictions prove true. Now, earlier I was showing on the iPad that they released the program, and they had a very casual photo of the couple at the end, a very beautiful photo, but very simplistic and very modern. So it seems that they are mixing the formal with modernity, right? They've really made everything really approachable to everybody, and with technology now, we've seen that as well, to be able to look at the program on an iPad. I mean, how great is that? Right. And uh, a collector's item, no doubt. But also, you can text your gifts, right. because everything's going to a charity that's where they want them to go you can text your gifts right. who would have ever thunk that with the royals well and I think that William Prince William is moving the monarchy forward again I mean look at what his mother had done and and look at where he's actually moving it to being even more approachable and being very much in the line with what the public expects now I see in the notes you say that there's a rumor there's gonna be a whoop a -tooey? A wapatui. A wapatui. I gotta know what that is. That's at the end of the night. What well, the heck is that? That's the modern. The wapatui goes back to the college days when you everybody just mixes a whole bunch of liquor into a bucket and then they just drink it. That's my so, kind of party. Guy. So, so that's what we're gonna say. It's just a very highly spiked punch that's going to be at the palace. All right. I don't think the queen's gonna taste that. I don't think but, so. But maybe. All right. Uh, Matthew and Bruce. So great to talk to the wedding guys. Thanks for sharing your insights. Thank Thanks you. for this having us.